Happy birthday to the late gray legendary Farrah Fawcett. Xavier back again with another video. This video ran as sponsorship by Strawberry Melon Brisk Iced Tea. I still can't believe that Dustin Diamond had lost his battle to cancer. I was hoping that he was going to make it, but unfortunately cancer has taken his life. I'm still going to do a reaction tribute to him sometime this week. I also still need to do one on Cloris Leachman. And since it's Black History Month, I'm going to do one on Chadwick Boseman and Cecily Tyson. And let y'all know this Friday will be my third anniversary of doing YouTube videos. I'm going to do a Let's Play of NBA Street which is also the anniversary, the GameCube anniversary, February 5th. The PS2's 20th anniversary is on June 19th, two days after my 30th birthday. This Friday is the 19th anniversary of the GameCube version of NBA Street, which will also be my third anniversary of doing YouTube videos. So I appreciate you guys liking my video, subscribing to my channel, and hitting the notification bell for any videos that I upload, and leaving comments. Positive comments, that is. I don't tolerate negative comments. Fuck that. And I got more Attitude Era rants coming sometime this month. I did an Attitude Era rant last night, reminiscing 20 years of The Rock versus Triple H versus Kurt Angle for the WWF Championship from the February 1st, 2001 edition of SmackDown. But that rant got blocked real quick after I uploaded it. You can still watch it on my Instagram, IGTV, if you follow me there. None of my Attitude Error rants are blocked on my Instagram, IGTV. But some of my Attitude Error rants are blocked from here. So YouTube, it's 2021. Please get your shit together and leave people's videos alone. My next Attitude Error rant is coming Friday, reminiscing 20 years of Triple H and Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock and Kurt Angle from the February 5th, 2001 edition of Raw is War. Then I got two Attitude Era rants for Super Bowl Sunday. 21 years of a 10-man tag team match between The Rock, Cactus Jack, Too Cool, and Rikishi versus Triple H, X-Pac, Chris Benoit, Perry Saturn, and Dean Malenko from the February 7th 2000 edition of Raw is War and 19 years of Will Sasso impersonating Stone Cold Steve Austin from the February 7th 2002 edition of Smackdown next Monday 20 years of Stone Cold Steve Austin giving Triple H a beer shower from the February 8th 2001 edition of Raw of Smackdown but in the meantime I got more NBA recaps to do of my top three NBA teams First, we're going to do a recap of last night's game between the Houston Rockets and the Oklahoma City Thunder. Rockets dominated the first quarter, outscoring the Thunder 48-24, scoring 11 of 14 three-pointers. But they gave up five points in the second quarter, 30-25. At halftime, Rockets 73, Thunder 54. Rockets dominated the second half, outscoring the Thunder in the third quarter, 29 to 22. After three, Rockets 102, Thunder 76. Rockets outscored the Thunder in the fourth quarter, 34 to 30. Final score, Houston Rockets 136, Oklahoma City Thunder 106. The Rockets are on a six-game winning streak, baby. Six wins in a row. They are now 10-9 as the Thunder fall 8-11. Round two of the Rockets versus Thunder is tomorrow. Before the Rockets head to Memphis this Thursday to go against the Grizzlies. And before they head back home, this Saturday to take on the Spurs. 
Unbelievable. Six wins in a row for the Rockets. Shai Gilligas Alexander, 19 points, 2 rebounds, 5 assists. Darius Baisley, 15 points, 6 rebounds, 1 assist. Al Horford, 12 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. Theo Meldon, 11 points, 1 rebound, 1 assist. And Lugu Enns Dortz, 7 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. For the bench, they get 42 points. Alex Sage Pokusevski, 2 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. Kendrick Williams, 7 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. Hamidou Dialo, 15 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists. Mike Muscula, 6 points, 5 rebounds, no assists. Isaiah Roby, 2 points, 3 rebounds, no assists. Justin Jackson, 10 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. Josh Hall, no points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. And Moses Brown, no points, 4 rebounds, no assists. Christian Wood, 11 points, 18 points, 11 rebounds, 1 assist. John Wall, 18 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists. Victor Oladipo, 15 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists. Jay Sean Tate, 11 points, 7 rebounds, 4 assists. And PJ Tucker, 6 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. For the bench, they get 68 points. If they would have scored two more, they would have had 70. Danwell House Jr., 13 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist. Eric Gordon, 25 points, no rebounds, 2 assists. Demarcus Boogie Cousins, 17 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. Sterling Brown, no points, no rebounds, 1 assist. Ben McLemore, 8 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. Mason Jones, 5 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists. And Rodians Kurukas, no points, no rebounds, no assists. The player of the game is a toss in between John Wall and Christian Wood because they both scored 18 points. But I'm assuming the player of the game was Christian Wood. Bottom line is the Rockets have won six games in a row ever since James Harden left to go play for the Nets. Unbelievable. Six wins in a row. Let's see if the Rockets can win seven tomorrow night when they go up against the Thunder again. I'm so happy that the Rockets is finally getting their shit together. Six games in a row. I can't believe it. They beat the Pistons. The Mavs, the Wizards, the Trailblazers, the Pelicans, and now the Thunder. I'm so proud of the Rockets. They are finally getting their shit together. That's what I like to see. I can't wait till next Thursday when the Rockets take on the Heat. I can't wait for that. Congratulations, Rockets, for winning your sixth game without the presence of James Harden. Six wins. Wow, I just can't believe it. The Rockets are on a roll right now. Now it's time to do a recap of last night's other game. Now it's time to do a recap of last night's game between the defending champs, the LA Lakers, and the Atlanta Hawks. The Lakers dominated the first half. They outscored the Hawks in the first quarter, 28-25. Then they outscored them in the second quarter by a point, 22-21. At halftime, 
Lakers 50, Hawks 46. Just like the Rockets in the second quarter, the Lakers gave up five points in the third quarter, 30 to 25. After three, Hawks 76, Lakers 75. Lakers made a comeback in the fourth quarter, outscoring the Hawks 32 to 23. Final score, Los Angeles Lakers 107, Atlanta Hawks 99. Lakers are now 16 and 6 as the Hawks fall 10 and 10. Trey Young, 25 points, 4 rebounds, 16 assists. John Collins, 22 points, 7 rebounds, no assists. Former Houston Rocket Clint Capella, 16 points, 13 rebounds, 1 assist. Kevin Huruter, 10 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. And Cam Reddish, 6 points, 4 rebounds, 6 points, 1 rebound, 3 assists. For the bench, they get 20 points. Solomon Hill, 6 points, no rebounds, no assists. Danny Lowe Gallinari, 6 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists. Former Boston Celtic, LA Laker, Rajon Rondo, 5 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. And Bruno Fernando, 3 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. Anthony Davis, 25 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. LeBron James, 21 points, 7 rebounds, 9 assists. Dennis Schroeder, 16 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists. Contavious Caldwell Pope, 11 points, no rebounds, 2 assists. And Marc Gasol, 2 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. For the bench, they get 32 points. Montrezl Harrell, 19 points, 3 rebounds, no assists. Alex Caruso, 8 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Taylor Horton Tucker, no points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. And Kyle Kuzma, 5 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. The player of the game was not LeBron. <laughs> oh. But I give him props for being player of the game. Anthony Davis with 25 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 assists. That's two games in a row that Anthony Davis has been a player of the game. So I give him that. So the Lakers got today and tomorrow off. And then on Thursday, they take on the Denver Chicken Nuggets. Saturday, they take on the Pistons. Matter of fact, the Lakers have a five-game homestead against these four teams. Thursday, taking on the Denver Chicken Nuggets. Saturday, taking on the Pistons. Monday and next Wednesday, taking on the Thunder. And next Friday, taking on the Grizzlies. Valentine's Day, they go against the Nuggets again. Next Tuesday, or two weeks from Tuesday... Against the Timberwolves, the 18th taking on the Nets. I can't wait for them to take on the Heat on the 20th. I'm so proud of the Lakers winning another game. So, Lakers are now on a two-game winning streak. So, Lakers, enjoy your two days off tomorrow. And I can't wait for y'all to get back on that Staples Center in L.A. When y'all take on the Denver Chicken Nuggets Thursday. And big up to Anthony Davis for being player of the game for two games in a row.
I was hoping that LeBron would be the player of the game, but it was Anthony Davis. Now I got one more game to do a recap on. And that is last night's game between the Charlotte Hornets and the Miami Heat. The Heat dominated the first half, outscoring the Hornets by a point, 28 to 29 in the first quarter. Then they outscored them in the second quarter by Deuce, 28 to 26. At halftime, Heat 57, Hornets 54. The Heat gave up 34 points in the third quarter while scoring 25. After three, Hornets 84, Heat 82. The Heat made a comeback in the fourth quarter, outscoring the Hornets 31 to 25. At the end of regulation, the score was tied at 113 and they took the game to overtime. The Heat gave up eight points at overtime, 16 to eight. Final score, Charlotte Hornets 129, Miami Heat 121 at overtime. The Hornets are 10 and 11 as the Heat falls seven and 13. Jimmy Butler, 25 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists. Bam A. Bayo, 23 points, 9 rebounds, 2 assists. Duncan Robinson, 16 points, 2 rebounds, no assists. Kelly Olenek, 11 points, 7 rebounds, no assists. And Tyler Harrow, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 8 assists. For the bench, they get 35 points. Andre Iguodala, 9 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists. 9 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Goran Dradrick, 3 points, 7 rebounds, 8 assists. Avery Bradley, no points, 2 rebounds, no assists. Max Struss, 19 points, 2 rebounds, no assists. And Precious Achua, 4 points, 3 rebounds, no assists. Devontae Graham, 24 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Gordon Haywood. 19 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Cody Zeller, 19 points, 12 rebounds, 2 assists. LaMelo Ball, 14 points, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. And PJ Washington, 6 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists. For the bench, they get 47 points. Malik Monk, 36 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. Miles Bridges, 7 points, 3 rebounds, 5 assists. And Khalid Martin, 4 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists. The player of the game was Devontae Graham with 24 points, 4 rebounds, and 5 assists. I give the Hornets credit because they definitely came to play. As for the Heat, this was another tough loss for them. But that's all right. Hopefully the Heat will win their next game tomorrow night, taking on the Wizards. Then they got to take on the Wizards on Friday. Super Bowl Sunday, they go against the Knicks. Next Tuesday, they take on the Knicks. I can't wait till next Thursday when, it, when they go against my Rockets. And I can't wait till they go against the Lakers on the 20th. 
So neither one of my top three NBA teams have a game on Super Bowl Sunday except for the Heat. And neither one of them have a game on Valentine's Day except for the Lakers. So the Rockets can chill on Super Bowl Sunday and Valentine's Day. Hope you guys are ready for Super Bowl Sunday and Valentine's Day, even though it's going to be a little bit different watching the Super Bowl and celebrating Valentine's Day. Hopefully this COVID-19 shit gets taken care of so everything can go back to normal. But keep your heads up, Heat. Get your shit together and get yourselves ready for tomorrow and Friday as y'all take on the Wizards. That wraps up my thoughts about last night's games between the Houston Rockets and the Oklahoma City Thunder, the LA Lakers and the Atlanta Hawks, and the Charlotte Hornets and the Miami Heat. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next Rockets, Lakers, and Heat rants. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't. Leave your comment down below. And I'll catch you tomorrow celebrating 20 years of Lloyd in Space premiering on ABC, part of Disney's One Saturday Morning. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Miami Heat. Go Los Angeles Lakers. And as always, go Houston Rockets.